many thanks for joining us on the newsroom. I am Fola Shadi for Green Day. The Senate on Wednesday approved the sum of $5.8 billion and a grant component of $10 million under the 2018-2020 External Borrowing Plan. The approval followed the consideration of a report by the Committee on Local and Foreign Debt during plenary on Wednesday. Chairman of the Committee, Clifford Odia, in his presentation, said the loan will be sought from the World Bank, the German Consortium, the Islamic Development Bank, the Bank of China, as well as from the International Fund for Agricultural Development. The Nigeria Labour Congress and NLC has criticized the federal government's policy on fuel importation. The NLC also reiterated its readiness to shut down economic activities in the country if government insists on increasing the price of PMS without, the consider without due consideration. They also called on the Federal Ministry of Health to ensure that the amounts agreed on the consolidated health salary structure is captured in the 2022 budget to avoid another round of industrial action in the health sector next year. Secretary of State Governor Amina Tambuwal has urged the federal government to consider the adoption of creating a special forces to tackle banditry. Tambuwal spoke on Wednesday when he received a delegation of the Northwest Governors Forum led by Governor of Castina State Aminu Masari. Governor Tambuwal said the special forces should comprise locals of the affected communities because they have rich knowledge of the areas. And Nigeria for the first time crossed 1,000 new daily infection max on Wednesday with a total of 1,424 new cases. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control NCDC disclosed this on Wednesday night, revealing new infections were recorded across 14 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory FCT. Lagos State, with 796 new cases on Wednesday, maintained its position as the country's epicenter of the pandemic. A Delta State recorded 152 cases, while the FCT Kinfed with 130 cases. The new infection figure, which ranks the highest daily tally since the surge in cases, has increased Nigeria's infection toll to 220,020. Meanwhile, no new death was recorded from the pandemic, leaving the fatality toll at 2,983. The House of Representatives on Wednesday approved a budget of 633 billion naira for the Nigerian Communications Commission NCC for the 2022 financial year. The budget is for the proposed capital expenditure, special projects and other costs of the Commission during the fiscal year in 2022. The budget was passed by the lower legislative chamber on Wednesday after Chairman of the Committee on Appropriation, Akim Adeyemi, presented a report. Now moving on to all the stories, tensions have risen in the Libyan capital Tripoli after armed groups mobilized in several districts ahead of next week's presidential election. Armed men surrounded the Prime Minister's office for several hours following a dismissal of a military commander. There is still uncertainty over whether the presidential vote due for 24th of December will actually take place. The election is a key element of a UN-backed plan to try to bring political stability to Libya after a decade of unrest. And in sports, the Confederation of African Football is facing an unforeseen situation of having to come to the 33rd edition of the Africa Cup of Nations slated for Cameroon early next year due to the emergence of the new COVID-19 variant Omicron. According to authorities, the continent's football governing body has been deliberating on cancelling the competition and could announce the decision to call off the competition in coming days. The AFCON tournament was initially scheduled to hold in mid-2021 but had its date shifted back to January 2021 due to climatic conditions. And that's it from the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I am Fola Shadi for Green Day. Bye for now.